we shall now take a look at how to print numbers from 1 to n using the for loop. So generally we use the for loop when we know the starting number and we know the end point. So what I am doing is I have declared a variable i with the initial value 1. n reflects the end point. I can give it any value let's say 0 or I don't even need to initialize it. Then what I am doing is I know my starting point so I will ask my user enter the value of the last term. So the user enters the value of the last term. Now using for loop what I can do is I can print the numbers from 1 to n. So I can say for I can just be sure i is 1. This is not required. I am just doing it as a habit. i is 1. As long as the value of i is less than or equal to n. Okay. What I am going to do is I am going to increase the i by 1 each time. All right. And in the next line I am going to simply print the value of i. Okay. Percentage d slash n i. All right. So what I shall do is first I shall run and then show you the output and then go ahead to explain this particular problem. So what I am doing here is I click on the run. So it's compiling. Okay. So it's asking us to enter the value of the last term. 1 is the first natural number. n is the last natural number. So let's say I enter n as just 5. So it should print 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So here if you end up seeing on the left hand side of the screen, all right, you can see it has printed 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now I'll show you a few things which you need to understand. I'm starting from 1 and I want all the way till 5 to be printed off. That's why I'm saying the value of i should be less than or equal to n. Suppose I remove the equal to sign, you will see that it will end up only printing till 4. So let me try to run it and show you the output. Okay, so now although I have entered 4, it has only printed 1, 2 and 3 because instead of less than equal to, I only gave it as less than. So you need to understand if you give less than it will print one less than the value of n. If you give less than or equal to it will print starting from one all the way till n. So just to explain the for loop this happens only once i is given the initial value once. Then the condition is checked one is less than or equal to let's say five. Then this will not happen it will come here it will print one then it will go back here i becomes two. Two is less than or equal to five. So it will come here and print 2. It will go there and become 3. 3 is less than or equal to 5. It will print 3. Then i becomes 4. 4 is still less than or equal to 5. It will print 4. It will go here i becomes 5. 5 is still less than or equal to 5. So it will print 5. Then when it goes here i becomes 6. 6 is definitely not less than or equal to 5. So this is where we end up halting the program. So I hope you have understood this simple problem. We have used the for loop. For loop is used when you know the beginning and when you know the end point and you generally know the steps. So my beginning is 1, step is increasing the value of i by 1 and my end point is the value of n.